牛叫，牛叫，牛叫。牛叫，牛叫，牛叫，牛叫。Welcome to this edition of Sunday Coast Bass Fishing Shows. I'm back here today at Anderson Reservoir. Don't really know why I'm here. Because I think the last show I did here was really bad. But I've been fishing all those other lakes and just wanted to come here and see what's up. Probably pretty much going to be doing the same thing. Throwing the plastics and probably the jig. I only have a couple spots here that I've ever caught fish. Uh, that one day with the underspin when they were schooling, that was a lot of fun. But, uh, I don't know. It's late fall, it's in November, and I don't really know what to expect. I know it hasn't been a cold fall. These waters are still in the mid-60s. They should be active. So I'm going to go down to a couple spots I know and see what happens. Late fall at Anderson. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, I've just made it down to the lake, and the first thing I've noticed is the water's actually come up. There's uh, terrestrial plants that are in the water, and I'm pretty sure this point I started at, and I was further out on it when I started here two months ago. So I guess those recent rains we had, and the fact that maybe they're not pulling water out has in fact brought this lake up a little bit so I don't really know what to expect but I'm going to start out here on what I'm pretty sure is the point that I was getting them on and I'll see what happens okay so far this is not looking good um, I tried that point down there where I first uh, did a little intro and told you it looked like the water come up it's actually come up like four feet. That, that rock over there I was sitting on last time and the water was like two feet below it. So has come up a lot. I've had one hit on a drop shot and I've had one hit on the jig. It's actually very clear. The water looks like it's, I don't know, five, six feet visibility. There's absolutely no wind. There's absolutely no activity, nothing moving. Uh, it might be a tough day. I'm here and I'm gonna stay here until I at least have to leave. Right, I'm gonna go back to the drop shot on this point. I moved down here to the point. The one I caught them on, the one where I was getting them schooling. And uh, I don't know. It's really hot too. Which is probably good for the fall. Really, really bad day. Still no wind. It's two o'clock. I've only had the two bites. But as I remember, the last time I was here, it was pretty much the same thing during the middle of the day. And then right in the evening, I started to get some fish. I was starting to get some cloud cover. This water's really clear. Uh, I talked to a guy that was here that was leaving right before I came down. Because I didn't actually get down here until around 12.30. And he said it was pretty good early. So, I guess I'm just going to wait out the fish and see if something comes up on these two rock ledges I'm fishing because there's not much really anywhere else for me to go. So, I'm just going to see if they eventually start feeding. It seems like a perfect day. But usually the perfect days are the ones that end up being the worst. So, I don't know. Hopefully in the next update... I have a fish in hand. Finally, an update with a fish. Um, 
throughout here where I've been throwing for the last three hours. <laughs> when it hit bottom, yeah, I was flicking, I got you sick. I just picked it up, bounced it like twice, and this fish hit. So, uh, there's hope. I always say that, but there is. There's hope. I got a fish. Uh, still a couple hours left to fish. There's now suddenly a bunch of shad that have been going by. Nothing's really chasing them, but there's fish around here. I'm just waiting them out until they start hitting. Uh, this is, is a sign. Maybe it'll get better after this. Uh, let me let this one go and get back to it. Throughout the drop shot, got another bite. So it's looking like... They might get going. I mean, maybe that guy was right. Maybe it's like Chesbro the last time I was there. Uh, they start get going in the evening now. Uh, might be, I don't know, the water's so clear here. And there's no, you know, no cover, no nothing. It's just rocky. So, I don't know. But I'm excited. I got another hit. And it wasn't four hours later. So, uh, yes. I'm going to get the, throw the drop shot back out there and see if I can get another fish I don't know why I get so excited every time I fish these lakes all the time but I just love fishing and it's so great to go with hours of nothing and know you're not in the wrong place but know it's the fish because they're just not here but if they come on here maybe I'll start doing good All right, I'm going to get back to fishing pulled out another keeper on the jig this time I've actually moved I was getting him on this point I'm standing on but I actually went a little behind me and cast it and I think I found some even chunkier rock and I was working it up it and this one was like right on the top I mean it seems like it comes up pretty shallow and I was working it and I think it was right on the tip as I was getting ready to come over and I felt thump thump all of a sudden he took off to the left with it and I mean not that big maybe one and three quarter two pound but two fish I've been sticking it out here all day. I've been fishing this thing over and over and over and there's nothing. But that's why I said I'm just going to wait them out. Uh, obviously it's an evening bite right now and probably a lot to do with the clear water and a little bit colder water. But uh, let's see if I can go back over there, work this jig over that uh, sticky rocky stuff and see if I can get myself another one. First got to let this one go. Didn't waste any time. Here's a stickier spot I found is actually, I was casting, well, into the sun over there. I actually came over here to the side, side of the point, and I was casting right there. And I decided to come more this way, and it seems to be something stickier out a little more to the uh, left here. So I'm gonna see if I can work over it with the jig again. Pretty much right when I was getting ready to give up on the jig is when that fish hit. It's like a sheer drop. Probably like over there on the other side. Where that point is over there on the other side. I just drops with all that sticky rock. I think that's what's like over here. At least it feels like it. Oh, oh, this one might not come out. Nope. Oh. Oh ho ho, that was another bite. On the drop shot. Oh, that's fish. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's gonna jump. No, he stayed down. I thought I was snagged and he just started pulling it away from me. Feels like another all right fish. I'm actually a better fish. Ah. 
<laughs> look at that. <laughs> God, he's long and thin. Right, still about three pounds. And he's like 20 inches long. Yahoo! Biggest fish so far today. Let me let him go. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of Santa Cruz Bass Fishing Shows. Um, actually did a lot better than I thought I was going to do. After the first three hours of being here and only having two bites, actually came away with three keepers. And like I said, I just sat on here uh, hoping that sometime they would come up on this great ledge and that. And another thing is I don't really have anywhere else. I mean, there's a one point down there, but... It's so rocky and sticky that I always break stuff off. So there's a ledge right out here, and there's a ledge right out in front of me on this point. And uh, like I said, at least it got me three fish. And it was one on each bait. One on the jig, one flicking, and one on the drop shot. So I don't know. There's still shad around. I don't know why they're being so slow. I mean, the water, like I said, it rose about four feet. And it looks like it's cleared up. I mean, I don't know how clear this lake usually is. But when I first came, it was about 7, 8 feet of visibility. Right now, it looks like it's 5 or 6. So, I don't know. Getting into fall. Haven't, like I said, we had some storms. They haven't really been cold. So, uh, I don't know. This fishing might get even better into the later half of November. November and maybe uh, into December. Uh, I'm going to hit up probably Coyote tomorrow and... See if I can do better there. Haven't been back since that storm and that big 612. And well, hopefully I do better there than here. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please join us for our next Santa Coast Bass Fishing Show. Heck yeah. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you.